ladies and gentlemen, and I don't know if you heard that, but good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane. And today I have for you a one versus one in the darkness of Samoa, a Monday novice fight. So I suppose with the night right here in the game, it's a Monday novice night fight. Yes, indeed. A bit of rhyming right there. So prepared for wailing, gnashing and all that, and of course if you're sort of the more sensitive sort of type, you know, you might want to close your eyes, ears, and think of England. Or whatever you might come from. We are going to be of course seeing some rather mistakes, of course we're going to be sort of looking at them, analyzing, sort of figuring out what's going on. And of course we're also getting very close to 1700, so of course there might be a second cast on Monday, of course, if not, if not people subscribe. Hurrah! We'll be finding one here in the northern corner. We're going to be seeing hybrid functions. Yes, indeed. I'm not entirely sure what functions he's a hybrid of, but there you go. He's fighting for the Americans, fighting for the 28th Infantry Division going up against him. Shall be Chaos Knight. I don't think this is Warhammer f or Warhammer 40,000 for that matter, so I'm not entirely sure what Chaos deity he's in God of. And of course, why entirely he thinks that's relevant to wo World War II. Out of the way, though, he's fighting here. And he's looking dashing while doing it, I suppose. He's fighting for the... Oh, I don't know. Let's also get started. But let's just say the... Second SS Panzer Division Das Reich. A slightly less experienced battalion of it, I suppose. Barracks up. They are my quarters up. Sort of usual start, and of course, hybrid function isn't com making the complete novice mistake of, you know, going for the weapon support center start. He's going for the barrack start. That's, of course, having the more sort of flexible start and the more offensive start, the far start that can, you know, do a bit of this and that. They are my quarters up right in the center of the base. I mean, this is, of course, an also note here that for hybrid function, it's actually closer to the edge of the base. Flaps being all funny and silly. And no more. But, you know, note it's closer to the edge of the base, whereas with Chaos Knight, it's run at the center of the base. I mean, a good tip usually for not for you new players, of course, is sort of try place it at the edge of the base. Sort of so, troops coming out there will be able to faster move. Plus, it also serves secondary purpose, in particular when you're playing Wehrmacht or Panzer Elite. It also means there's going to be a reinforcement point in your base, which is not right here because if your opponent, say the American commander, decides to go for the Howitzer, Howitzer, not Howitzer, Howitzer, his primary target is going to be right at this doorstep, right there. And of course, if you're going to be training, of course, he's going to be there. So of course, usually it tends to be a good idea thus to also have something away from the base where it can reinforce. Thus, having the Wehrmacht quarters here serves two purposes. First, of course, you know, fresh troops out faster, but also they can get reinforced in a more safe spot, which your opponent isn't going to be firing immediately on. So right little lesson there, right from advancing up here. MG42 out as the first unit. Again, not the preferably best start, usually, and particularly since there's absolutely no one here. No scouts, no bikes or anything. And again, usually either you go for a bike if you're sort of highly competent, highly sort of, you know, the master of micromanagement. And not a tactician or a Of course, you send in some infantry first to sort of lead the way, preferably a sort of solid infantry force. He does run for the church. Seems like a sort of good idea. And it's certainly one thing the more novice players, you know, go for this sort of figure. Well, this building's important. I'll stick an MG42 in it and rule this town. And then he never sort of really leaves that point because as you might have noticed these chaps are already in heavy cover except Conrad stepped outside. God damn it, Conrad, you can't do anything right. And of course now they're all suppressed thanks to Conrad. Already taking notes, but at the same time, you know, staying in cover can provide protection, of course. Still, I mean, again, infantry not going in this church. MG's alright, but you know, usually you provide something else. I mean, in this case, of right from the Conrad, you know, not messed everything up. Possibly, probably a one against this MG42. Of course, now they're just taking ridiculous losses. Now, Folks of course, moving in. But usually, you know, you send in some infantry first, and then the MG. And these Rafna are taking out there. Probably should have gotten out the first. Oh, slick. Earlier. Rafna mounting up there. And of course, now they're right in front of everything. Again, not an entirely good idea. I mean, in this case, it might have been better to either, you know, focus elsewhere and, you know, gain an advantage there instead of, you know, right in front of the church where you know there's a heavy machine gun ready to fire down upon your poor bloody infantry. So now sort of keeping a sort of mental image of where things are. More false guns are rhyming so I mean now we're sort of seeing a more regular thing right here for Chaos Knight of the 2nd SS. Now dual infantry or two false guns and an MG42 
That's more like it. That's more what we're used to. And then he immediately goes for the skirmish phase again. And this is certainly something I know for myself. You know, this is something more novice like players do, you know. They rush immediately for the creek barracks, but again, you're going to be sort of, you know, limiting yourself rather early on. Of course, a good American commander with, you know, lots of infantry can much more easily push you out. And, and back in action. Mine's laid down here, though, by Chaos Knight. That's a good thing in particular right there. This is a choke spot with lots of negative color nearby. Jolly good spot for mining. Can do a lot of damage. Nice move there, but again, I mean, this early sort of thing could result in, I mean, by a much more aggressive player, much more, and of course, you know, nice sink down sandbags, but you know, remember to place yourself in a manner that actually serves it. Cover is not a magical talisman, it's, you know, cover. You need to be on the right side, otherwise it doesn't bloody well apply. You know, in a, those sort of situations, imagine yourself, where would you like to be? In front of the cover or behind it? Falskun is being a bit aggressive here, you know, usually you also try to keep your Falskun is together so they can write covering fire for each other and all that. And again, usually also you don't try to stick your MG like that right away, usually you try to keep it a bit more mobile, partly to cover flanks, but also perhaps, you know, support your Falskun layers and thus give a bit more firepower, you know, also being allowing yourself to be a bit more aggressive, but he's clearly, you know, sort of determined, I want to hold the village, everything else does not matter sort of type, which is, I suppose, all jolly nice, and again, you know, don't run up to riflemen, that rarely ends up well. I mean, occasionally you can get an advantage, like, for example, here, probably because the squad leader is a pretty damn good shot, he's sort of, you know, the veteran soldier with the Sturmgewehr and single shot mob, and, you know, at the same time, when you, know, you have two riflemen bearing down on them, get the bloody hell out of there, I mean, this is the... the sort of situation when you know, realize, okay, two riflemen versus one full scan team, Let's get the bloody hell out there. Rücksuch, Mena. Rücksuch. He doesn't again. Takes heavy losses. Again, sort of, you know, be able to quickly evaluate the situation again if your men are surrounded. Get them out of there. And now he retreats. I have no idea if he will be able to make it out of there. Will poor Hans survive? Check up. No, never mind. Dead. There you go. I mean, again, you know, know when to retreat. Know when to hold your bloody ground. Very important things to learn. Creek bags this up, so of course he's probably hoping for some early grenades. And again, remember, cover, cover, cover. And again, don't stand out like that again. Again, you know, two versus one team, and particular full scans up night, cover already damaged. Bad idea, you know, retreat, and there we go, retreating this time in time, but you know, again, be careful. Right from here, taking heavy losses, mines. Also laying down a bit of tank traps, not entirely sure what he's hoping to do here. A bit odd, but you know, other riflemen have penetrated the lines of Chaos Knights, you know. Tiny fist, don't you know, not really doing too well, and Panius doing awfully bad, need to get out of there. And again, the MG42 sort of, you know, sitting in the church, possibly sipping altar wine, consuming the body of Christ, and thinking it could need some sauerkraut. Grenadiers, though, are ready. Kampfkraft sends her up. Falskern's reinforcing, getting MP40s, and that's a nice idea, I mean, MP40 certainly increases the Falskern's firepower at medium and sort of other ranges, I mean, it certainly helps them. And again, I mean, a rifleman team, you know, unupgraded, they can certainly get the advantage, although again, I'd recommend not upgrading every Falskern team you have. Also, keep some for, you know, longer distance fighting, thus, you know, keeping a more mixed force that can, you know, be more useful, but again, I mean... I'd certainly say, I mean, always have at least one false gun team with an MP40, that would also be a sort of good rule of thumb, so I mean, good job here, and of course, Rifemen stay out of range of the MP40, in particular close range there, Rifemen getting to hunt it down, Mine though, Hybrid Functions has gone for infantry, nice to see, Mine goes off, Hybrid Function laughs a bit there, Pulls up behind some fences, false grenadiers and the grenadiers find away, MP40 is blazing madly, more riflemen moving up, pioneers moving in as well, not really a good position, although again, Mr. Chaos Knight could be getting off a grenade, gone blitzkrieg, could be getting stormtroopers, troops need reinforcing, but again, you know, not a lot of inventory, he's really low on it, only two compared to, you know, hybrid functions, four, and now grenade, although quickly gets out, good job there, riflemen being forced away, does not go down. Has to be careful here, though, again. And now Grenade, does he get out? Yo, barely, but he's forced to retreat. Grenade is then pulling away as well. I'd certainly also, but I'd recommend really get a lot more infantry and perhaps also get more some mines down. It's not really looking good. Hyphen functions already here, you know, has the advantage. It's not really old bloody grand, although he does hold most of the victory points now, going for a pack for it, you know, because. I mean, if you don't see again something like, say, BARs or grenades, 
on your opponent's infantry, asked the Americans, you know. He's probably going for the motor pool, he's going, probably going for the armored car rush. Unless, of course, he's feeling incredibly bold and incredibly cocky, he's, in which case he might be going for a tank depot, but that's, that's pretty rare. And he is also getting reinforced, gathering up here, jolly good, but again, not the most sizable force, not the most effective force. Pioneers with minesweepers, that's good on the other hand, that's quite lovely. Pack ready as well. Pack very ready. But you know, slowly increasing his forces once more, so that's not all bad, I suppose. And hybrid function, of course, is now forces are so replenished forces. Going for an observation post on the munitions point, that's quite interesting. And of course, also doing a bit of harassment right here on the flanks, very nice to see. Mines will, of course, to detect any mines laid down by hybrid functions. Jolly good, jolly good. <coughs> but again, you know, <coughs> sort of one of the more novice Wehrmacht mistakes. Again, the sort of regular minimum I'd always recommend is you know, about three units of infantry for the Wehrmacht. That's sort of the preferable minimum. And I generally recommend, you know, at some stage getting four as soon as possible when you when you read about the tier four with the creek bags and all that. So I'm going to help. And mate moving in. No munitions for the Panzerfaust. And the pack 38 is nowhere to actually aid. Need to get out of there again. No when to retreat, no when to hold your ground when an M8 is there. You don't hold your ground like that. In particular, not try to take a point right in front of its nose. And again here, Chaos Knight doesn't quite seem to grasp the control on knowing when to retreat. And of course, pack 38 takes up position here, which isn't quite functional. Rifle though gets pinned down, but Galineas and Fultz Galineas need to get out of there. Stormtroopers have arrived, some more veteran SS troops, the rest are probably from some Airstats Battalion, or from some other units sent in to assist. Rifling continues to be pent down, Rifling taking minor losses to MP40s from the building and probably the Pioneers. Pioneers and Fultz Galineas moving in, and the Rifling, oh dear, he tried to run around the building, of course took heavy losses. Oh dear, this could end up with a loss for hybrid functions. Yes indeed, be careful with those MP40s, those Grenadiers. MP4 is being very accurate up close, of course, although they are much less accurate when moving. Now the M8 moves in, and now right here, of course, Pack 38. Pretty rubbish position, sort of. I mean, yes, if the enemy decides to wars in here, great, but you know, it can't really react otherwise. And of course, now it sort of has to take a longer path. Stormtroopers and rifle. And, and let's actually choose you over here, but Stormtroopers versus rifle. Stormtroopers being one of the toughest units in the game. Although, again, they seem to have just run up, which might have given the rifle a slight advantage. Veterans run up, though. Rifle continuing to take heavy losses. Stormtroopers being pretty good infantry. And certainly unupgraded there in terms of raw stuff. I mean, they're certainly one of the best units, but I mean, here he took some pretty nasty losses. And also, note they do give an extra bit of veterans in compared to, say, Grenadiers. <coughs> Pack moves up here, needs to quickly turn about. Don't move up in a nicely prepared position. Just fire, damn you. Fire, fry. Enemy and leave the rest down. for later. Guys, okay, bring in mines here. Nice Losing job there. there. Pack fires away. M8 though gets away. Second M8 out for Supply the Americans. Trier center up. Good to see that. Good to see. Stormtroopers doing nothing. Mike going to take that point, and there we go. But Chaos Knight needs to get some more troops on the field. At least that would be my recommendation. Veterans you want on these rifles, and that's quite helpful. Coming now under fire from Grenadiers though, and cover only from a bit of cratering, which doesn't do much. But now the Greyhound arrives, and again, no one to retreat, and no one to get out of there. Will Chaos Knight know the difference? Again, when an M8 is opening up on you and the riflemen, get out, get out, get out, in particular with this low health, get out. Now we go retreating, but hits a mine. Oh, they hit a mine and they take losses. They should have retreated earlier. Oh dear, and there's another mine. Oh no. Enemy unit and there we go. The end of the Grenadiers. Stormtroopers moving in. Oh, don't do that. I mean, don't send in a gravely wounded unit with only two men. In particular, the Stormtroopers. I mean, yes, they're Stormtroopers. They're very tough, but I mean, I'd not recommend wasting them like that. Rangers now arriving. Other stormtroopers arriving now with Panzer Strex. 
Hybrid functions pushing onwards though. No replacement rifle though. He might be hoping for some replacement rangers to lead the way out of the darkness. Bye, bye, bye. Out of the shadow, shadow of the valley of German death. MG advancing probably once more to take up the position in the pulpit. Now occupied by force guns with MP40s as well. I made moving about getting the 50 caliber and looks like an assault going to be going on. Oh dear, oh dear. Postgun is getting out, need to move up close, quickly counter the American efforts. Engineers coming under heavy fire, fuse late. Rifle and also pull out, completely frightened by the bark of the MG42. Oh, the horror and the false grenades run the rest off. And even decided to pull in these rifles, but then decided otherwise. Range is coming in, no upgrade here. Quite a bit of munitions though, could be used for grenades, could be used for artillery. Could be used for submachine guns for these rangers. Will certainly increase the firepower. And armor car moving up through the main street. Pack firing away, and the M8 continues. And the Stormtroopers with dual panzer effects. Veteran SS Panzer Grenade is ready for the ambush, just like they practiced on the Eastern Front against the foul Russian foe. Falcon is running up against the rifle, and in this case, doing pretty Our badly. Oh, the NK is. Oh, no. Again, wasting infantry like that will not help you. And also an idea here might be just to, in fact, just run the stormtroopers into the church and let them fire from there. More stormtroopers, of course, moving in, but again, heavy lack of infantry and using manpower and observation posts. Not what you need now. You need infantry. Bloody infantry. And another M8 bites the dust. That sort of equalized things, but again, M MP40 folks going to team down. Pretty grim. No medic bunker to sort of collect the wounded either. Again, unit preservation really being a huge issue for Chaos Knight. Quite vast, quite considerable, and not good at all. And again, that's sort of what I recommend, you know, being careful with as a sort of novice. I mean, really take care of your units, sort of work on them. And of course, you know, that's partly, you know, also a bit of experience, but you know, try to figure out when the bloody hell to get them out of there. Again, that's quite important. A Sturmhaar Pizza has arrived from the SS Stug Abteilung attached to the second SS, although I'm not sure if they actually had one. Some of the SS units finding in Normandy were not fully equipped. Even the first and SS, points. first and second SS Panzer divisions could have been affected by that. But that was mostly though the ninth and tenth, tenth in particular, only had one Panzer battalion at all, and that was a mix of Stugs and Panzer fours. And fresh rifle coming out. And Seems like Fraps does not want to play today. A bit unfortunate. Storm Habits continues moving, forcing away the rifle. Again, though, I'd really recommend Chaos Knight getting some more infantry on the ground. More boots, more blood. Now we are seeing some assault rounds getting equipped for the Stormtroopers. Good to see, good to see. Chaos Knight might still have a chance to turn things around, and Rangers charging up right through the center. Right into the Stu 42, which does not quite hit MG forwarding up, firing up, far up, in fact, on the Rangers. <laughs> oh, hiccups, BAR's ready. And grenades on the church, flamethrowers and BARs and all the other nasty things, and the Stormtroopers are nowhere to be sighted. Be no, they've hit mines. Come on, Stormtroopers, move in. Move your feet. Pack 38 getting cleared out. Has to be careful and get those stormtroopers running. Chaos Knight. Get them moving. Los. Los. Don't cut. And there we go. Stormtroopers rushing into the open street. Opening up on the end. Yes, might be clearing them out. Stu 42 blasting away. Not quite a hang knocking out that. Pack has to be careful though. Stormtroopers getting into cover. Finally, Pack sorted out. Range is still a problem. Stormtroopers taking heavy damage. Might want to consider getting out. Consider getting out. Rückzug. You've got barely any health left. And again, Chaos Knight does it. Enemy yeah. Down. And again, he just doesn't quite, you know, have the unit preservation skills. Again, he he waits about one second too long, possibly two, and you know, then ends up losing everything. And you know, he doesn't fully commit either. I mean, sure, those Pantricks aren't really that great against infantry, but even then, a bit could have helped. And that's true, of course, is now in problems. Could get Sticky Bomb, could get a lot of things. And there we go. In fact, Sticky Bomb's just finished. 
And Rangers in the church, pack right again, recruit. I mean, this is just not good at all for Mr. Chaos Knight. Absolutely horrendous unit preservation. And there we go. Stu down. So, I mean, again, not exactly the brightest thing. And now he's going straight for the Panzer Command in the hopes that might sort of, you know, serve him well. Mine's going down here. Jolly good to see that. Now taking up the MG right there again. Sending in the MG on its own. Not really what I'd recommend most of the time. Sitting up behind some broken barrels and opening up on the Ivermen. Range is coming under fire as well. Rushing straight at the MG. Could be hoping off to get some grenades. And again, no infantry support. MG forced away due to the grenades, blowing up what remains of the barrels. And the stormtroopers are moving in now, of course, dual panzer effect again. Won't be fully effective against infantry. And again, they would have been better in larger numbers with the rest, you know, just to add a bit of fire there, instead of, you know, being on their own, having to do the main effort. But the panzer command is up, let's wonder if Chaos Knight commits one of the gravest novice mistakes and goes for the panther because again I mean that's sort of what some things you know oh great that's a heavy tank that'll work that'll save the day and of course not rather realizing you know it's not really going to be do doing awfully well against infantry on its own or even in support I mean it can't do alright but you know preferably when you're Those dealing with infantry out. problems you either get the Ostwind or you get the panzer 4 you do not get a panther And again, you know, with the Panzer IV, you know, we could also save more manpower, you know, to use again, more infantry. Again, get more infantry. Again, he barely has any infantry on the field at the moment. One Stormtrooper team, one Pioneer team, which isn't infantry, I don't reason to not categorize it, and an MG42 team. That's not in. that's not a lot. Two Pioneer teams, but still not a bloody lot. By any length. Yet he seemingly persists in it. And he persists with getting that MG42 in there. I'm not entirely sure what he's hoping to find in there. It's not like the Holy Grail or the Ark of the Covenant is hiding in there. Panther moves up. Yes, indeed, he has gone for the Panther, so I'm hoping that victory lies with the mighty Panzer Kampfwagen 5. And again, it's a nice tank. You can do all right against infantry. But I'd still recommend a Panzer Force that does better against infantry. And really, currently, Mr. Chaos Knight's main issue really is infantry. And of course, main ga ma mid game analysis pretty damn poor for the Wehrmacht. Not really doing good. Fresh storms are arriving again. Assault rifles. All right, I suppose. But again, not the best of situation by a length, long shot. And also note, I mean, great, you know, mining, but you know, mine in the direction your opponent might actually arrive from. Not the one where you will arrive. Little pro tip there. Also, you know, salvage munitions, nice. Good to see some mines, but you know, again, not doing too well either in many other regards. Veterans 1, though, up for the armor. Jolly good, though, jolly good, at least that's a good move there. I've been taking losses. It's the Panther of Fires of A. Panther might want to move and support the storms. There's now a large assault moving in. Rangers, riflemen, flame flowers might be even getting ready to assault from the north. Come on, get everything in. Stormtroopers in a lot of trouble. Need to get out of there. Get out of there. Quick sooks, dust troopers, and again, grenade on the MG in the church. And Stormtroopers moving in with assault rifles. Note that while Rangers have assault elite armor, thing is about assault rifles, they actually ignore the damage reduction part of the elite armor. Funny little bit there. So I mean, Stormtroopers with assault rifles, or well, Panzer Grenades with assault rifles, are a pretty decent counter against Rangers. Grenade does a bit of damage, but the Rangers actually pull out of there. Another M8 bites the dust due to Panzer Schrex. And the other thing, Stormtroopers need to get out of there. And again, he. Just too late. Panther arrives. Ryman going in for one of the Panzerx, which are now dropped. Of course, question is now: Will he make the right choice? Will he get some more infantry on the field? Get something to actually hold the line? Because again, the main problem currently for Chaos Knight simply he can't cover every angle. He can't really know get enough fire on everything. And again, that's due to the lack of guns, lack of feet, lack of troops. 
Yankees are grabbing our territory. So again, not really doing well for K. Not to say that hybrid function is without his flaws, you know, no medic station, no upgrade for the supply yard. But on the other hand, he's certainly handling things better, and you know, he's, he's, you know, keeping to get some proper boots on the ground thing, and he's not sending in his panther in unsupported against infantry, he knows he has sticky bombs! For heaven's sake! You're a disgrace to the Wehrmacht, Chaos Knight! I mean, you can see where the chaos comes from, but chaos, as in Warhammer, is pretty terrible when it comes to tactics and strategy and sanity. For heaven's sake. And now another wave moves up, and he does it again. And again, actually, this time the mind does something, stopping a few rifles again, you know. Oh, just heaven's no. And running right into all of this MG fire, and, you know, seemingly... Hybrid functions, you know, again, keeps persisting, and you know, run into that MD, run into the MD, I mean. And a grenade, and finally the MD pays the penalty of Chaos Knight's crimes. And the storms will lead the way. Panther, of course, damage due to sticky bombs, moves into that spot, and he's moving in the stormtroopers in the open. Don't move them into the open against automatic fire again. Rule of thumb, when your opponent has lots of BARs and everything else, don't move about troops in the open towards them. Do not. Even if you have assault rifles, use cover. Do not. Don't. For heaven's sake, do not promise me that. Back to the fight. Storm to taking heavy losses. That's anti-tank gun getting ready there. Stu 42 again. Panther repaired, Pioneers need to get back to work. And the pack's not even being pulled away. And again, Stormtroopers dying to reinforcement again. Lack of infantry. He could, you know, have gotten some Knights Cross. And why he got a Stu 42 when he could have gotten a Panzer 4. Yeah, not quite sure. And again, range, range, range in particular when they have Veteran C2. Thing to remember, Veteran C2 rifleman throws Sticky Bomb at a demon at longer range. And why sending in the Pioneers again? Pack getting cleared out. And again, Chaos Knight just manages it like a complete oaf. You should not be serving in a Panzer unit. You should be serving in a penal unit at least. Or a best leaning an Ost Battalion. Do 4 2 mine mind going there, but right. Hybrid functions, do 4 2 again. Charging an infantry again, charging into sticky bomb range. Mine goes off, pinning down, picking up the BARs, increasing the firepower quite a bit. Even picking up a Panzer that was lost. Panther getting hammered by AT gun fire. Has to be careful about that. Get out of there. Stu 42. Don't rush it at the anti tank gun. Again, not without support. And of course, armor piercing rounds chose well. Chosen right there, knocks up this 242, and again, heavy losses. Because again, that's seemingly what Chaos Knight does. Now getting a tank depot, lovely to see. No victory points in his hands. But again, hopefully this shall serve as a lesson to someone. I mean, there's certainly some good lessons here, some bad lessons, but certainly some lessons for people to remember, and some ideas. Stormtroopers could be running into problems. Will they open up? Yes, indeed. Firing away at the rifle now, fully equipped with assault weapons, fully in fact. Panther firing away, grenade on the Stormtroopers, retreat. Apparently doesn't do much in this case. And rifle do manage to get out of there. Panther and die need repairs. And by die, I do mean dire. Stormtroopers sneaking up, I'm not entirely sure why. And anti tank on here, perhaps to cover the retreat, I'm not entirely sure why. Stormtroopers taking heavy losses, retreat again, too much automatic fire. Retreat in particular when you have invested 150 munitions into a unit. Bun grenade on the rifle though, heavy losses, but again, retreat, retreat, say after me, retreat. For heaven's sake, Chaos Knight. 
You are destined for the Eastern Front in a penal unit somewhere in Nava, or Estonia, which was pretty much a small place where things did not go well. And again, retreat, retreat. They barely have anything left. And sending in a badly damaged panther. Now getting an Ostwind. One of our I suppose that's about time. Off. Panther needs to be careful again. Infantry with their 22, that, I mean rifle with their 22. Have increased d bomb range and these ponies need to get out of there. Panther also needs to get away. Need to go from the open road where it could be a target for sticky bombs. I mean anti-tank guns, but either way. Get the bloody hell out of there. Tiger now ready to be called in. And looks like he cancels the Ostman in favor of a Tiger to save the day. Panther has managed 12 infantry kills. I mean, it's not all doom and gloom there, but... I mean, it spends an awful lot of its time with a damaged engine and not really assisting the main effort. Ready for anything. Get the infantry on the field again and remember, use cover, advance through cover if possible, stick to cover. Don't just charge headlong at your opponent. You're losing a sector. Rangers moving in. Once more into the line of fire of some mighty panther. Gets another kill. And of course, I mean, generally try to get the frontal armor to watch your opponent at all times. That's basically what panther commanders were taught for a good reason. That was the thick part. Side armor was pretty rubbish. Storms are advancing up and he's using the panther shake stormtroopers. Don't do that. At least not if you're not going to drop off a bunch of grenade or something and again. Much too late. Much too late. And where were the other stormtroopers? With the assault rifles? Getting mangled up north. Great. Pani has lost. These stormtroopers need to get out of there. Tiger arriving. Panther taking heavy damage. Main gun destroyed. And now he's sacrificing a tiger as well. Just look at that poor panther. Tiger moves up. And gets a few nice kills. Panther arrives. That's going to be the end of that panther. Gaining about 22 for those chaps. And again, moves in the tiger within range of the sticky bomb. Always try to keep them beyond the range. And also, don't be sending your tank destroyers right frontally at a tiger. Generally, you do not want to rush your armor straight at a tiger. Never, ever. Again, that's just poor tactics by hybrid functions, but again, you know, don't rush in your tiger like that. Do not at all. Ever. Never, ever. Anti-tank guns ready to also start that tiger. Really, those rifles with the sticky bombs can really do a lot. Particularly when they have a panther and again, there's not a lot else. Storms will just keep seizing points. Pani is being sent in, but you know, first the tiger has to get to safety. And there's a lot of anti-tank guns that really want to get that tiger. They want to bag that prize. And returning to hybrid functions, and let's just also speed this up a bit. I'm sure some of you are already weeping. Demanding blood, retribution and all that. And Chaos Knight's head on a pike. And moving in the M10 though from flanking position, that's better. And of course continuing to flank, jolly good. Although again the Tiger does turn around rather swift and of course like, it could actually do that in the war. Fun fact, it was actually a reasonably fast tank. I mean it was about as fast as a Sherman. And it could also turn about reasonably fast, in fact pretty fast. And looks like this Tiger will be going down another M10 out of control. Right, and taking some losses. Destroyed engine, destroyed gun. Pioneers moving in, but I don't think they'll be able to save that tiger. And there we go. 
a Tigress down, and Veteran C3 Rifleman with a Panshake, meaning of course that Panshake is going to be more accurate and do more damage than any Wehrmacht soldier could do with it. Now more Stormtroopers with just Assault Rifles and Panshakes. Things have utterly collapsed for Chaos Knight. And somewhere Paul Hauser is rolling in his grave. Let's just speed up this tragedy on some water bed up. Water bed up. Schnell, schnell. And again, you're charging across here. Lots of mines, so that's great to see. Now going for assault a bit too late, I think. And finally also getting veterans in two, and of course Kay's not rather realizing this case it's time to get the bloody hell out there before the military police catch up with him and do terrible, terrible things. So of course, what can we learn from this? I mean, in this case, the main problem really for, for Chaos Knight, you know, terrible, terrible, horrible unit preservation, poor use of cover, very poor, not well out for pass of advantage, you know, try to stick to cover when you're advancing, you know, give some benefit, as you know, staying on the right side again, stay on the right side of cover, please. Do not charge tanks at infantry that has sticky bombs. I mean, not unless, of course, Relic decides to buff the machine guns on it. I mean, that would be great. Would certainly also, again, of course, also sort of justify, you know, stuff like that. But again, don't do that. Otherwise, stay at range, bombard them with the main guns, do the damage there. Do not rush up to them. Please do not. And again, you know, be careful with the MGs. Don't just stuff them in a building, constantly have them knocked out. I mean, and if you do, support it with wire and other stuff. Don't just take the MG on there on its own without anything else. Bad idea. Very bad idea. And of course, you know, also, you know, be aware of the first tier. You know, preferably try to get free infantry at a minimum. I mean, a lot of things here. And of course, things I already mentioned, sort of for hybrid functions. You know, medic station, supply out would have been great. I mean, upgrades would have been great. Finally got some. Grenades earlier could also have helped him, but you know he did all right. You know, attack from different angles. Or at the same time, occasionally he seemed to have a bit of some odd priorities. But great mining usage in particular towards the end. So there you go. I do hope you learned something from this game, and if you enjoyed it, that's even great. And of course, if you're crying right now, don't blame me. I warn you. And this, of course, this is Imperial Dane saying cheers and wishing you a good day.